Amber and today we're going to learn fractions of amounts. To do this I'm going to use some sweets, a few of my teddies and the bar model. First we're going to look at how to find one quarter of twenty. The denominator is four. That tells us we need to divide the twenty by four. So I'll share the 20 sweets between my four teddies. The numerator is 1. So that tells us we need to count how many sweets one teddy gets. As the numerator is 1, this tells us this is a unit fraction. These are my 20 sweets. I'm dividing by 4, so I'll share the 20 sweets between my four teddies. He has five sweets, so this tells me that one quarter of 20 is five. I can also show this by using a bar model. The bar represents the total number of sweets, which is 20. As I am dividing by four, I have split the bar into four sections. I can now share the sweets out between the four sections. section has five sweets so one quarter of 20 is five. I can write this on my whiteboard as a fraction of an, an amount so one quarter of 20 equals five. This time we're going to try a trickier one. We're going to look at, at what happens when the numerator is more than one. We're going to work out four fifths of 25. The denominator is five so this tells us we are sharing between five ten teddies. The numerator is four. So this tells us we need to know how many sweets four of the five teddies have all together. Four also tells us it's a non-unit fraction. So first I'm going to work out one fifth of 25. I'm going to share my 25 sweets out between my five teddies. To work out how many sweets four of my teddies get, I need to work out first what one teddy gets. Each teddy has five, so this tells us one fifth of 25 is five. To work out four fifths of 25, we need to know how many sweets four of the teddies have all together. One fifth is five, two fifths are ten, three fifths are fifteen, four fifths are twenty. So this tells us four fifths of 25 is twenty. We can also show this by using a bar model. The bar represents 25 sweets and as I am dividing by 5 I have split my bar into 5 sections. Now I need to share my sweets out the between the 5 sections. There are 5 sweets in each section. So one fifth is five and four fifths are five, ten, fifteen, twenty. So four fifths of twenty-five equals twenty. Why don't you pause the video and have a go at some yourself? Remember, if the numerator is more than one, always work out the answer what the answer would be if the numerator was one first of all. I'm going to give you the answers in three. Two, one. For one sixth of 24, the denominator is six, which tells me I need to divide my bar into six sections and share my 24 sweets out between the six sections. The numerator is one, so that means I need to find out how many sweets there are in one section. 
Each section has four sweets, which tells me one sixth of 24 is four. For three fifths, the denominator is five. So that tells me I need to split my bar into five sections and, my, and share my 30 sweets between the five sections. The numerator is three. So that tells me I need to find out how many sweets are in three of the sections altogether. Each section has six sweets, which tells me one fifth of 30 is six. To work out how much three fifths is, I need to work out how many sweets are in three sections. There are six in one section, 12 in two sections, and 18 in three sections. So three fifths of 30 is 18. For four sevenths, the denominator is seven, which tells me I need to divide my bar into seven sections and share my 21 sweets between the seven sections. The numerator is four, so that tells me I need to find out how many sweets are in four of the sections altogether. Each section has three sweets, which tells me one seventh of 21 is three. To work out how much four sevenths is, I need to count how many sweets are in four of the sections altogether. One section has three, two sections have six, three sections have nine, and four sections have 12. So four sevenths of 21 is our 12. I hope you all found that useful. If you did, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading a video with something new every week. See you all soon. Bye.